All right, it is getting super hot already. I'm barefoot because I don't want to get the tent dirty. So what we're doing is, I don't want any problems with condensation inside the tent. So these CBT tents come with uh, anti-condensation mat, mat, but I'm gonna do something different and I think it's gonna work a lot better. Um, I got this Silas closed cell foam. I think it's eight millimeters. You have to double check. I'll provide a link for this in the description, but I'm just gonna line the entire bottom portion of the tent because it doesn't seem like it's aluminum on the bottom, but it has like this plastic coating. But if it's cold outside and as soon as, you know, when you're breathing or anything warm, your body, then, you know, condensation's gonna easily form on this. But I watched a lot of YouTube videos and guys will put this anywhere in their RVs on the side of their fridges and it'll completely stop the condensation, so. I think with this stuff, it'll completely stop the condensation from ever even forming. And then we're also going to add something else underneath our mattress, which I'll show you guys later. All right, so check it out. I just want to show you guys really quick. I cut off the old zipper poles because these were making so much noise when we were sleeping. You know, you'd be laying down in your tent, any slight breeze would shake the tent and they would just make a ton of noise. So I bought these um, soft zipper poles and I replaced all the metal zipper poles with these soft ones. I can't get to this. As you can see here. So, and they work great. Uh, was, I bought a 30 pack of these. They come in a 30 pack and I was surprised I used 29 of them. So, good, uh, good mod to do. If you're annoyed of the noisy zippers all right so before laying down the foam mat I want to make sure we get a really good seal so I cleaned the tent with some simple green and then I followed it up with some rubbing alcohol just to get rid of any grease or any kind of dirt or debris all right so I'm already sweating like crazy but um, I had this leftover for my camper shell um, it's thinner so what I'm thinking It'll work perfectly if I line the sides because this is all metal. So I think what I'm going to do first is just line the entire sides of the tent with this stuff. Alright, so I got the first side in. Um, just the length of this. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put this on the top or on the bottom but I decided to put it snug on the bottom because I didn't want a little gap under here where water could uh, pretty much form or hang out so I have this little metal exposed on the top but I'm not too worried about it because if condensation does form on this top part I can just wipe it down easier a lot easier than if it were right in this bottom corner all right so as you can see I got the entire outer edges covered with this closed cell foam and then I did use this roller just to kind of roll it down to make sure it's stuck on properly all right so check it out there's uh these bolts right so I need to make holes for them these to fit over and uh, I remembered I had this this hollow punch set so I found this Nine sixteenths oh, fits over the the bolt, so I'm gonna use this size and punch some holes in this and see if we can't get it installed nicely. Wow! So here's the first one. It cuts super nicely. I think it's gonna fit on pretty good. Let's see if see how good I can do. I'm kind of worried I'm not gonna be able to get them super perfect, but let's see how we do. I decided to step to a half inch. Let's see if I can do this with one hand so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just gotta find the bolt. Kind of twist it. Just like that. It cuts a hole. Look at that. The bolt will slide right around it. Alright, so the first piece is down. I used this roller tool rolled it on 
This stuff is awesome, but I'll tell you, it's really hard to work with. It sticks so hard, or it sticks so strong to the uh, to the bottom, and I had to pull it up to readjust it so you can see I got a tear from my thumb right there, which is fine. Um, yeah, and I got another tear when I tried to pull it up to readjust it. So I was like, eh, it's not perfect. You can see this, this sides here are, uh, it's a little long here, but, um, yeah, the first piece is down. Looks pretty good. Here's the finished product. It's not perfect, but it will do. It's pretty rad. I have some leftover of that, um, I think it's two inch width right there. And there's some metal spots on the top of the camper. So I'm gonna cover those. All right, so I just wanna show this. I'm gonna add this to the tent. So I'll have the humidity levels on the bottom and the temperature on the top. And I just stuck some Velcro on the back. Hopefully it'll stick on the tent. Let's see how long it holds. All right, so I lined this entire top with this two inch wide closed cell foam and it turned out super clean. It almost looks like it's part of the tent. So this is what it looked like before. It was all metal. And then this is what I added. Pretty nice. All right, so the surrounding parts of the top of the tent, I covered with the Silas. It took me quite a while because I had to trim it to fit, but you can see all the metal is covered. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Doesn't look bad. All right, so the last thing I did was just finish off these corners. because There was still some left, just like that. This side, I still need to add a little on the edge because I didn't cut exactly. But the bottom is lined with this Silas closed cell foam, and I really think it's going to do good at stopping any condensation from building up on the bottom. wanted to show you guys I'm gonna use these moisture absorbers inside the tent I'll probably throw one or two of them inside the tent and then I also got this kiwi camp dry it's just a water repellent that you spray on anything boots backpacks there it goes tents I'm gonna spray the outside of the tent with this stuff I'm not gonna show you guys that but I'll provide the links for both of these in the description. All right, so this is what we are gonna add underneath the mattress. This stuff is made by Dendry. I believe they call themselves Raven Wolf Marine. Um, this stuff's pretty cool. It's just gonna add a uh, pretty much a layer, a breathable layer underneath. You can see this is about a half inch thick, maybe three quarters inch. This is gonna go underneath the mattress. The mattress is gonna sit on top of this felt side. So I'm not gonna bore you. I gotta figure out how to cut it to spec so it can fit inside the rooftop tent. All right, so this is what the first piece looks like. I just gotta cut the rest. I have about 14 inches wide of space over there. So let's get the rest in. I might have to do it in two pieces, but it's all good. Alright, so this is going to wrap up the video. I'm just showing you guys the end result. I ended up using two pieces of the Dendry. One 
wider one and one skinnier one. I think this stuff's going to do a great job at providing a little airflow underneath the mattress and making my tent not get moldy. That's the end goal. All right, so if you want to purchase Dendry or you want to purchase uh, the Silas Foam, just check the link in the description. I'll also add a clip here so you can uh, see their website. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.